So I'm still drinking my first can of Strongbow after a hard week's work and um, I've just played Super Hang On on Mega Games 1 so carrying on with the Mega Games 1 theme I'm going to boot this up and slap on a bit of columns. So this cartridge also has World Cup Italia 90 on it I won't be doing a video on that game played on this cartridge because I've previously done a video um, on said game because I've got the separate cartridge version of it. Also on this Mega um, 6 cartridge it's, um, it's on there but it's called Sega Soccer and it's basically the same game. So we'll jump in on Arcade. So this is kind of te um, Tetris's reply to Sega. Sega's reply to te te Tetris. God. Not only is it a puzzle game, it's a puzzle to say with your mouth. So, basically, you've got these um, kind of gems, whatever you want to call them. And the idea is to make a line. Um, so it's kind of like Tetris, but instead of kind of trying to slot different shapes together, you're trying to get the same colours and the same kind of areas. So if I slap that there, you'll see the uh, gems, blocks, whatever you want to call them, disappear. And obviously, the further you get through the game, faster and harder it gets. You, you can see from the right hand side of the screen you can also play two player and if you see there you can get diagonal lines also. I should also mention that um, I'm not sure whether I did a gameplay kind of video or I just took some footage but I do have this game for the Mega CD, um, I know there's a video on my channel of it on YouTube but I cannot remember whether it was a gameplay or like I say just gameplay footage. That's basically on the Sega Arcade Classics collection for the Mega CD um, which features, uh, I think it's five classic Sega games like Revenge of Shinobi, Streets of Rage, all with rejigged um, CD sound. There's not amazingly massive differences in sound on them games, um, just the odd deviation from the original. Drink beer and play puzzle games. Drink beer, cider even. Don't even know what I'm on about. I mean, as you can see, uh, that was a complete fluke that just happened there. But as you can see, um, the game is pretty self explanatory, so um, I'm not really sure how much longer this game is going to go on. Of course you don't need Mega Games 1 to play Columns, um, obviously it's available in its own cartridge form. Something that's worth checking out if you like Columns, uh, it might be a bit of a pain in the arse today, um, but the Super Scope for the um, Super Nintendo, there was a, a set of puzzle games um, where basically you shot the blocks instead of um, moving the blocks with the D-pad, the blocks would like come down in a set position and you basically sh keep shooting the blocks until the, um, the, the desired colour sort of thing. Um, 
kind of similar to columns, but obviously um, with wildly different controls with it being a light gun game. Um, but definitely worth um, checking out if you are a massive puzzle game fan. Uh, it's pretty cool. Obviously, there's the um, how would you say um, hurdle of having a TV that's uh, compatible with the old school light guns. Not a fluke. Oh yeah, look at that! I like that. So rare. Music uh, on this game, it kind of fits the game style, but obviously um, it's not really the kind of music you'd want to download the soundtrack and play in your car, for instance. Um, it's not really a rocking soundtrack. It's kind of a bit, um, what would the word be? psychedelic, um, quite hypnotic, so yeah it kind of suits the, um, the gameplay style, but it's not necessarily great music. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I mean, I don't know what what I have to do to get to the next level. Do I have to get score? Um, yeah, it's it's not really worth me um, doing too long a video on this. Oh, it's getting faster now. Oh, we're constantly going up levels. Um, the game's literally just getting faster as I go on, as you can see on screen now. Took me a bit of time to work that one out. Suddenly it's, uh, it's picking up the pace, getting pretty hard to kind of play and talk at the same time, so I'm bound to fail soon. There we go, I'm failing. God damn. A little bit of a fluke there. About the flukes and columns. I fucked it now. A big bad fluke. Fucked it, man. I don't know. This ain't right, yeah. So that's how you lose, um, basically your blocks have nowhere to go. Um, so yeah, that's Columns on the Mega Games 1 cartridges, also available separately. Definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of um, puzzle games such as um, Tetris uh, or like, for instance, Buster Move 2, I played on the Nintendo 64 the other day. So definitely worth checking out if you're a puzzle game fan and uh, obviously a Mega Drive game collector.